hi guys thank you for watching welcome to today's video and to my channel if you're new here i'm debbie if you don't know me and this is going to be the fourth video that i've done with the jeffree star bloodless palette i've been exploring all different kind of vibes from the palette bringing a couple of things in here and there to change up the the color tones and things and i've really enjoyed playing with it this week and i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you've seen the others i will link the other videos up in the cards for you as we go through this video if you want to check them out but I've done a red and purple kind of graphic look uh, that had a very goth kind of inspired vibe with like a extended in a corner there. I've done a look that was kind of pastel purple and blue and I've done a teal and silver look. But today I want to play more in the sort of soft romantic pink kind of zone of the palette. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use royal pain in my crease i'm going to make sure that i use wet jewel because i've not really used that too much yet and i'm also going to use betrayal because i haven't used that one yet at all so i've used most of the shades in the palette with the exception of, of those two i think but but i haven't used this one so and it is a really really pretty shade so i want to incorporate that so so yeah it's going to be very soft and pinky purple not quite sure what I'm going to do on the lower lash yet. I might intensify the lower lash line with Dungeon and then just smoke that out with High King, but I've not completely decided yet. But I'm going to try and keep things quite soft and romantic looking for this look. So I'm going to scooch you in and we'll get started. So I've primed my eyes already with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, done all the rest of my makeup. My highlight today is Ofra's Pillow Talk because again I wanted something nice and soft and and pink so uh, I decided that one went really well so as I say I want to go in with Royal Pain and start my look with that and I'm going in with uh, Jeffree Star JS6 oh that's a lot more of a stunning shade than I kind of expected I kind of wrote it off as a neutral and I thought oh it will be fine just to start my crease but I really really like that so my vision for this look is to have it almost like a reverse smoky eye so to have things quite sort of deep in this inner corner and then fading out to, to not as deep in the outer corner so I'm going to build up a lot of pigment in this inner corner and up to my brow and I probably will cover up some of this shade that I'm laying down on my lid with something else but it'll give me a base that is such a beautiful, like, salmon-toned pink. That's so, that's a surprise in the palette for me. As I've only watched a few videos of swatches, I'd kind of forgotten what the shade looks like. And also, when you get a palette for yourself, I think everything looks slightly different than when you see it on a video as well. But, wow, I really, really like that shade. So I've gone pretty much up to my brow. I'm just going to work that into my skin and try and get a bit of a, a blend in that inner corner now because I always end up with a bit of a harsh line on that inner corner if I'm not careful. So I want to make sure that that's as faded out as I can. Yeah, I love how that's looking so far. Beautiful colour. I'm going to use the shade Monarchy now to create a bit of a fade out to my outer corner and outer part of my crease. I'm going to use the same brush for that, which I've not tapped off so it will help with the blend a little bit between the two. shade's quite a dusty shade but we're not seeing any fallout because obviously it's such a pale shade mm -hmm. I'm going to go in with Betrayal and I'm going to layer that on my lid just below where we've put that Royal Pain shade I'm going to spray that with Fix Plus because I think that will help just to avoid any fallout there but I don't want this to be a cut crease I want it to still be pretty soft so I usually use glitter glue with shimmers but I often find that makes blending quite difficult so 
think this will work really, really well. I'm using a Morphe M152 if you're wondering which brush I'm using because it's quite a soft packing brush but quite precise as well so it's helping me to stay where I want to stay in that corner. Okay, I want to make sure we keep things quite deep in the inner corner so I'm going to go in with a touch of Dungeon just to make sure I keep that intensity. I'm just going to focus that on the inner corner and just the inner kind of portion of my crease there, hopefully that makes sense. This shade's great as a deepening shade. So I'm not using too much of it, I'm just literally touching the brush to the pan and I'm using quite a light pressure but I just wanted to build up just a, a little bit of drama in that inner corner. I'm going to go back in with Royal Pain and just make sure I get a blend with that shade. So I'm just pretty much layering that over the top. And that's just a case of working on this blend because I apply quite a lot of shadows and I just want to make sure that I mesh them together. I'm using just sort of circular blending motions there to achieve that. Now I'm going to go in with Wet Jewel. Again, I'm spraying that. I'm going to apply that in the centre. That's a stunning, stunning colour. Where Wet Jewel is meeting Betrayal, I'm just going to tap over that just to get a bit of a blend between the two. And in the outer part of my lid, I'm going to go in with Beauty Sleep. Just going to pack that in my outer corner. Such a stunning shade. Back in with that monarchy shade, which is just that that buff coloured shade. Just want to just make sure that I haven't got any harsh lines in that crease. And that shade can just sort of fade away to nothing in the edge. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with Woodstock by Adam Decay, one of the 24 7 liners. I'm going to use Dungeon and a definer brush just to set that pencil and I'm more so doing that on the inner part. And I'm almost making a sort of teardrop sort of shape in that corner. And I'm going to take Hiking and I'm going to buff that out on the lower lash line. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera for the finishing touches and I'll be right back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the finished look for this one. And I've paired the look with House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. And forgive me my lash application, I'm still getting used to applying lashes. They're, they're just about on, I don't think they're going to fall off, but <laughs> they feel like they might at any moment. But 
I will nail this lash thing, I'm determined to because I, I just love the way they look. But probably could have done with a bit wispier lash so that you can see the beautiful shimmers on the lid because they are just stunning shades and I think the gradient between them looks so, so pretty. I just love this smoky in a corner as well. So really, really feeling the look. I've paired it with a Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star. This one's Calabasas. And I don't wear this shade nearly enough. I think it's such a beautiful shade. It spans that sort of neutral to pink to red kind of territory. And I think it matches my dress really well. And also that Royal Pain shade that I've got going on in the inner corner. So I've had so much fun playing with the Bloodless palette this week. Thank you guys if you've watched the other videos. If you haven't, I'll link them as I say for you if you want to check them out. And I'd love to know which was your favourite of the week. I, as I say, I've done some varying looks with the palette from editorial looking looks to more blended looks to to winged out looks and all different shades of the palette. So I'd love to know which was your favourite. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing before you go. Other than that, guys, have a lovely day or night wherever you are, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye!